It's one Gotti here. Have you ever wanted to ask me a question? Share your opinion on a specific topic, but you never had the place to? Well, now you do, as I will be starting up a new series that will be airing weekly where you can ask me all of the type of questions that you want in regards to the commanders, the NFL, or just the whole entire sports world. You can email me now at askwangadi at gmail.com all of your questions. And once we get enough feedback, the first episode will be airing. Again, you'll have the opportunity to ask me any kind of questions that you want. Hey, Juan, what do you think about this player? Hey, Juan, what do you think about this coach? Or my Commanders fans out there, hey, Juan, what do you think about the sale? This is my opinion on it. What do you think? You now have the opportunity to do that. I would take full advantage of that if I was you out there. Hit my email up now at askwangotti at gmail.com with your questions. Again, that's askwangotti at gmail.com with your questions. Can you slow down? Wait a minute, girl, what's the rush now? I wanna introduce myself to you. My name is one on one, got you to prefer now. I like the way you put your fist together. I like the way you do your hair in the morning. I see why all the boys want you, girl. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video, and in today's video, I'm coming on here with my five most important positions that the Washington Commanders need to draft in this year's NFL draft. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL or in this case, our Washington Commanders. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Let's get straight into today's video. So the Washington Commanders, they have... Uh, I would say uh, uh, a good amount of positions that they need to address um, in this year's draft. Now, it may not be necessary like starters per se because we pretty much have a really, really good roster as far as like our starters goes. For me, it's more so the depth. Now, does that mean you draft depth guys in the first round? No. Obviously, you still want to draft guys that are going to come in and make an immediate impact. But what I'm telling you is, I know it may not look like it from you know the outside world, but us as fans that follow this team every single day, we know this team it's pretty good on paper and on the field too. We just it just so happens that we lack the consistency and the the goodness of the most important position in football. You're telling me if the Washington Commanders had Jalen Hurts last year, or Patrick Mahomes, any one of these top guys in the NFL last year, we wouldn't have been a playoff team. I mean, we should have been a playoff team with Taylor Heineke. So the first position of need that I believe the Washington Commanders need to draft is cornerback. Now, this is the position that I think Washington will end up going with in the first round. You got a lot of good cornerbacks coming out of the uh, draft class. Uh, obviously, Christian Gonzalez being, being probably the best one. I don't think he's going to make it to 16. Joey Porter Jr. is a guy that I like. I know a lot of people are saying he's not really a scheme fit. And we already went down the hole of bringing in a guy that didn't fit Jack Dorio's scheme, and we seen how that played out. Now, here's the thing with William Jackson, though. Um, and that's the guy that I was referring to, and, and we, we all know he didn't fit the scheme, and he didn't play well. But William Jackson's first year here, it was not that bad. Was he, was he great? No, he was way better than what he was his second year so and it was the same scheme so maybe it was a lot to do with William Jackson himself and not so much the scheme because what do you look at William Jackson now where is he now he got cut from the Steelers so he's not on nobody's roster so yeah he wasn't a scheme fit but maybe it was meant to yeah Joey Porter Jr. may not be a scheme fit but if he's at 16 I think we should probably take him 
um, because he's a really good talent. He's fast. He can play outside, inside, um, wherever you need him. And um, he's a quick guy, uh, and, he, and he, he fits everything. Now, he's, he's like, he has the perfect height for me, um, and he, he ran a solid 40. You know, it wasn't the best. I know he I know he's much faster than come game time. But uh, Joey Porter Jr. is a guy that I would like. Um, another guy that a lot of people is now taking a liking to, including myself, is Devin Witherspoon from Illinois. He's another guy that I would like for Washington to possibly take in this year's draft. A uh, branch guy from Alabama. If you want to go like kind of Swiss Army knife to the source of the defense, you can go his route. Um, and now let's say Washington those are ranching our plans and they know they don't go to what we expect let's say they go a different position in the first round Keely Ringo is a cornerback that you could probably take a chance on in the second third round maybe well, maybe I don't think he makes it out of the second but it's a lot of good cornerbacks that you can take moving on to the next uh, position uh, I think Washington should address is going to be linebacker now you guys know how i feel about the linebacker position i was so hurt that we let cole holcomb walk especially for the price now if cole holcomb was asking for something crazy uh then okay i understood it but six million dollars we couldn't take him away from pittsburgh that's crazy now i'm, I'm kind of over it now i'm going to move forward with cody barton but that's not enough okay cody barton and jamin davis is not enough uh, I know we got Kalik Hudson, and that's a guy that I want us to actually utilize more this year. He showed what he can do in that Dallas Cowboys game. My biggest fear is that they won't do that, though. That's my biggest fear with this team is that they don't believe in Kalik Hudson to actually go out there and perform and be a key part of this linebacker unit. Um, so I think they're going to draft a guy. Now, uh, this is not a, the best draft class for linebackers, but they do have some good depth pieces. And, that, and to be honest with you, that's all I need. That's all I need. I need a couple depth guys. If you telling me my linebacker room is Corey Barton, Jamin Davis going in his third year, Kalik Hudson, and then you draft a guy in the early rounds, I'm more comfortable than what it is at this current moment. So that's the second position of need that I think Washington should address in this upcoming draft. Next thing. Uh, I think Washington should address is going to be the interior offensive line. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if Washington was to address the interior offensive line uh, in in the in, in the second round. Like I'm talking linebacker, but I wouldn't be surprised if they could say, you know what, we're going to actually go line here and then you know address linebacker later because interior offensive line depth is very very important as we know right now. We we signed Nick Gates. We still at this current moment have Andrew Norwell on this roster. I don't think he's going to be here though. I think he may be a post June one cut. Um, we obviously we got uh, you know Chris Paul, Sadiq Charles, um, and we also have um, uh, Andrew Wiley, who is going to be our right tackle, and Sam Cosby is going to be our right guard, more likely than not. But he's still a flexible guy. You still got um, the guy from Pittsburgh and the Chargers that we just signed. That at, at first I kind of just brushed it off, but now looking back on it, he may actually be a guy that competes into in in the summertime for a valuable position on this roster as, at a depth as a depth guy. Ron Rivera already came out and made it clear that. The, the battle at left guard is between Chris Paul and Sadiq Charles. And I feel like that's a good battle. I feel like Chris Paul should be the starter. I, I personally think Sadiq Charles had his time to show what he can do. And it's not that Sadiq Charles is not talented. I firmly believe in his skill set and that he can be a really solid guard in this league. It's just the fact that he can't stay healthy, man. The guy barely plays, but he's always hurt. He's never available, and that's the problem. Your best ability is availability, and he's not that. So, and 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 that's barely when we had to count on the guy. So you're telling me if we was to give the start and get starting, I'm supposed to put my trust in, into a guy to start all 17 games that he, when he barely plays, he's already hurt, man. I just wouldn't trust it if I'm wrong. Right? Now, again, you, it's a yearly thing. Maybe this year is the year it finally clicks for Sidney Charles both physically and mentally, and he can put it all together and be a hell of a left guard. But I like what I saw from Chris Paul in the last game versus Dallas also. So I would probably go that way, but I wouldn't be surprised if Washington 
let's say they draft even a center in the third round or something like that because with the recent moves of Nick Gates and and uh, Andrew Wiley, it, it kind of made me feel like Chase Roulier was our center. But the latest update from Chase Roulier is that they're still one. Um, they still have they're still unknown on what they want to do in his future here. Whether they want to reconstruction him or just let him go completely, because as you guys know, we'd have one of the worst cap situations right now. But releasing a guy like Chase Roulier and or restructuring a guy like Chase Roulier and Logan Thomas, it can free up some of that cap space. So I'm thinking now that they are probably going to reconstruction him and possibly or possibly cut him and that sucks because Chase Roulier is one of the best centers in football man when he's healthy and I hope they don't do that they already brought back Tyler Larson which was a W move love Tyler Larson but the biggest thing with him too is he is he he the last two seasons he's had season ending injuries just like Chase Roulier so we need a guy at center uh that's going to be out there all 17 games and it's crazy because Chase Roulier was that guy before the last two seasons man so I'm not going to be frustrated if Washington actually Actually moved on from Chase Rooley. It just sucks, you know, because uh, he's a really good center. Um, Nick Gate is a guy that can come in and play center if you need him. Nick Gates, he, he can play center and guard. You know, he played he played majority of his snaps. I want to say was it at uh, I want to say it was at uh, guard last season. Um, but he can play both, um, and I know he's willing to do whatever. You know, and I think that maybe the the way they go with center if they don't want to draft a guy. Um, because again, the left guard position battle, they already said it's between City Charles and um, and um, my guy uh, uh, Chris Paul. And fourth, uh, another position that I think Washington should go after is some edge rushers. You know, Chase Young coming back, Montez Sweat. Obviously, our starters, there's our book and pass rushers. But what about what about what about behind those guys? You know, you got F.A. Obata, who he brought back. He's cool. Had a really solid season. I like what I saw from James Smith-Williams. And you got Shaka Tony still here. But what about more? You know, what about guys that are going to come in and compete to actually contribute when Chase Young, like, Chase Young goes out? You know, Casey Tuhill is another guy that I that I take take the liking to last year. But those are still not guys that I, I, I want to rely on, okay? Those are guys that you have around that are, you know, make a play here and there. But I want to have one of these guys where... You take Chase Young out for, for a couple plays, and this is a guy that, you know, uh, comes in and picks up right where he left off. Last and final position that I think the Washington Commanders should address in this draft is kicker. Yeah, I know we got Joey Slide, but we need to draft somebody that's going to push this guy, okay? He doesn't necessarily have to come in and take Joey Slide's job, but at least make him work for it in the training camp. This is where I think we went wrong with Dustin Hopkins, is we allowed him to get too comfortable. We didn't bring in no competition during training camp to at least push him and make him earn his spot. I think we need to do that with Joey Slide, because last year, he missed a ton of huge kicks. So go ahead in the 6th and maybe even 7th round or whatever, in the late rounds, draft me a kicker that could potentially take Joey Sly's spot, but at worst, motivate Joey Sly and push him to earn his spot. There you have it. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below. What positions do you think the Washington Commanders need to draft? See you guys in the next video. As always, be boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe. Hell to the Washington Commanders. See you guys next time. I'm out. Peace. Uh, cost me one time, that's gonna get you pop, get you pop, uh, get you drop.